everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is just gonna be um, a makeup no makeup look very simple I'm gonna add in some fake freckles as well because I love freckles and I really wish I was getting them but I wasn't so little fake ones I'm going to do so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is just show you the moisturizer and eye cream I've been using so I've been using the Moisture Balm by Garnier. I think it's really good. It does make my skin feel super hydrated. And then the Neutrogena Eye Booster. I just use, I've been using this because it's got hyaluronic acid. It's super hydrating. It is for like um, awakening your eyes and stuff. But I don't tend to use eye cream all the time. But I just felt my under eye area was super dry. So I've just been using it. And I do feel a massive difference, especially when I'm concealing and everything. So, good one. Um, so, start off with some Carmax just to soften the lips. Um, so, the foundation I'm going to use today is Maybelline Dream Satin because I'm really loving it. This one is in the shade Nude. So, I don't have a lot of tan on at the moment. I put some Dove on this morning. So, I think it will match in near enough close enough to my own color so i'm just going to use the real techniques 301 brush just to apply it first so when you are doing like a makeup no makeup look it is important to get one don't put your ears and um, it is important to get one close enough to the color of your skin or the color of your tan and i think this one is matching in pretty well at the moment I either have ones that are just too light and just too dark so um and nude and i think this is a really good one and i do get a lot of wear out of this like during the day like it has a hydrating serum in it so it doesn't dry out on your skin so i think normally when i do wear this i kind of do get a good a good 12 hours out of it i think and if i was going out i'd probably just uh, pop on a little bit more than just two pumps so then I'm going to go in and conceal. What I'm going to use to conceal and to contour is this little palette, which I've used loads because the two light colors are nearly gone. But it has a concealer, um, a contour, and illuminate. So the concealer is obviously to concealer and dry, but then there's the illuminator to illuminate your skin. And I think that's a step a lot of people miss out on. They just pile on a shitload of, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> a load of concealer and don't even think about um, actually brightening their under eyes and that's what they're trying to do so then it just does it I mean sometimes I do it as well I just put on a really light concealer especially if I'm like traveling I don't want to bring so much but then this one's really good as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use every time so the middle one that says concealer, I'm going to use that first. Uh, I'm just going to conceal my under eyes. Just quite lightly. And I mean, if you're going for a no makeup look, you probably don't want to conceal and highlight too bright. And I think these two really complement each other. And I don't know if this comes in different colors. Oh, medium. So you can get maybe a light, a light one as well. So then if you had the light one, you could kind of blend it in together that bit more. Um, and so then I'm just going to go in with the illuminating side and just go all over the eyes and over where I would highlight as well just to give me that extra little bit of lightness but not too light. My biggest tip is to keep blotting um, because when you think you're done just give the face a few more pats and I think it really seeps in the makeup perfectly to your skin. I'm gonna go in with the contour bit. And the medium color is perfect for me, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a less, less wet, less wetened um, sponge and just chisel out my face. And up here on my forehead. And then just a little smidge on my nose. And then just blend that all in. I 
and I like to go a little bit up into my eyebrows. Not too much, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna just get a brush and buff it out a bit more. And I'll just kind of brush that into my eyes. Just to give me almost like a little bit of shade in my eyes, but not too much. You can see how everything is just blended in so much and so perfectly. So then when I'm gonna go in with powder, is the Flamar uh, Compact Powder. This is in medium natural beige, and I'll open it. And it's so nice, it's so perfect. It doesn't leave anything on your skin or like heavy application. It just, I like it, I like it. Just a light layer. And then I'm gonna go in with this, it is the Rimmel, the Kate one. It's the three bronzing and this is in the medium one, I think. And I'm just gonna go in with the lighter side, just for my cheek, just to give me that extra bit of coverage and color, but not making it too drastic. And then for highlighter, To go digging for highlighter. I'm going to use the So Sumi X Rosie Connolly, and we have this a little while and I've already destroyed it. But I'm going to use this little pinky color down here just because it's not it's not too drastic on the face, I don't think. Compared to this, is called Radiance and there's Afterglow, so the Radiance one is definitely a bit lighter. So you see, just a little smidge, not a lot at all. My brows is the Catrice brow gel and i'm going to use this because i literally got my eyebrows done like two days ago so my brows are in pretty good condition but if it's like my brows are due in two days then i probably wouldn't just because um everything doesn't look as well with just the brow gel this brow gel I used to use a different one they had, but then I think they obviously changed it, so it was no longer available anywhere or online. So I changed that one, and then I'm going to use the Unique um, Black Waterproof Mascara. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to blink and kind of get that blinkiness on the bottom lash line because you don't want everything to stick out and be too pow. And lips um so maybe you want to keep your lips quite simple so what i'm going to do is i'm not even going to use liner i'm just going to go in with the red the, the red the rimmel um a 45 at the cape one and then just apply this on my lips most natural pink one for me if i was going for my own uh, natural lip color I would use this one, the Essence Matte, but then it's matte, so I always like to apply something more with it. So this would be like a no makeup, makeup look. Um, I think it is, you know, it's just pretty basic. No eye makeup on, just a little bit of contour, just for a little bit of shape and a little bit of a glow, a natural glow. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is the fake, the fake freckles. So I'm gonna go in now with the fake freckles. So I'm going to use this one, it's a Fl Flamour um, waterproof liner and it is in the colour 2001C5, it doesn't say the actual name, um, so yeah, all I'm going to do is just dot it on my skin, on my face, just like that, just to give little bits of freckles see the way they're there well you just kind of want to keep them if you're trying to make them look fake but natural just kind of here um i mean you could go all over your face as well i just prefer to keep it very very simple and i've been kind of trying this and kind of just seeing how to go about it and that's kind of what, what works best for me so And just give them a little pat in. I'm 
And what I like to do is just pat them into my skin. So you can kind of keep going as much as you want, kind of bring them everywhere. And then just pop them in. Oh, there's no makeup on the sponge. So it's just kind of patting them into the skin, making it a bit faster than your fingers. Cause it's <laughs> I think when anyone really wears fake freckles, you always kind of know if they're fake as well. So won't worry about that too much. Yeah. So uh, this is the final look. So a very simple, simple makeup, no makeup tutorial, really simple. I've only used like six products for this whole look. So yeah. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Let me know below if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it and yeah, thanks so much for watching till the end and yeah, check me out on all other social medias where I post more content as well.